Ulrich Bernier is trying to make people invisible to mosquitoes. A true repellent is something that causes the mosquito to move away. This is almost like what we call an attraction inhibitor. It blocks or masks the attraction. And so there are three such compounds that came off of human skin. That's right. Your skin actually gives off a compound that prevents mosquitoes from smelling you and detecting that you're a meal. It also gives off compounds that attract mosquitoes. And the reason we still get bitten is most of us give off just minute quantities of the things that hide us and a lot more of the attractants. Bernier's found a total of 28 compounds that can cloak a human from mosquitoes. The first three he got from human skin. We looked at those three that came off of skin and then modeled, based upon the chemical structure, these other 25 compounds. That doesn't mean we've got it right all the time. There are about another 25 or 30 that didn't work. In order to test which compounds work, he uses this machine. It's called an olfactometer. The device works when you put your hand or a chemical compound into one of these chambers. Circulating air blows that scent into the cage with the mosquitoes, who either react by trying to fly towards that source or don't, depending on what's being tested. In this test, with Nathan in his natural state, the mosquitoes really like him. But with the cloaking compounds in the same compartment, nothing. And so here we are a good 20 seconds into the test already, and they don't know that Nathan is up there. The contrast is pretty striking, and it's not like these mosquitoes weren't interested in biting us either. Bernier showed me that by sticking his whole bare arm into a cage of them. I tried it too, and yes, those mosquitoes were quite hungry. Ah, okay. <laughs> It may look strange sticking your arm into cages full of hungry mosquitoes, but in this lab, it's actually a pretty common sight. This is the best way for researchers to test whether the compounds, repellents, and attractants are the real deal. So that's what it looks like when you don't have a good repellent on that cloth patch. And then she's going to grab the cloth now with DEET and put her arm back in and then show you what it looks like when there is a good repellent on it. See how that's radically different? Yeah, they're all staying away. That's right. These mosquitoes are bred in-house, so even though they're yellow fever mosquitoes, they aren't actually carrying yellow fever. The hope is that someday these researchers can take everything they've learned about mosquitoes and create a more efficient system of keeping those mosquitoes off of us. The potential is it gives us an alternative to having to put repellents on you to just using a local area dispersal of this kind of compound and protect an area from mosquitoes where mosquitoes might for example, come into that area and not recognize where we are, and so they might turn away disinterested. Let's hope that day comes soon. You got one flying right there. In front of you. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.